So as we understand the data for our first problem statement, now let us actually come up with the logic to get uh, uh, crime uh, to, to get monthly count by crime type uh, in in the order we want. And if, uh, uh, and before coming up with the logic, let's review once again how um, what is rec here. Rec is nothing but one record uh, which we retrieved from. Crime data without header. Crime data without header is nothing but RDD of type string. And each string in the RDD is of type rec. Okay, rec is nothing but first record from this. And from, from this string, we have to convert into this format. Okay, and uh, it's nothing but a tuple of paid RDD so that we can actually aggregate by using by key aggregations. And the first element in this paid RDD is again a pair or a uh, tuple with two elements. And it has, we have to capture two elements. One is month to which that criminal record belongs to. And the second one is uh, the crime type, a primary crime type. And then the value of this paired RDD for each element have to be one so that these ones can be added by holding these two elements as key and come up with the aggregation. And also the month has to be of this format. Y, 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 M, M, so that we can sort the data easily. So for, from this input record, we have to get out, uh, output like this in this RDD. So before getting into that, let us come up with the logic uh, processing this string uh, to convert this string into this type. And then we actually um, uh, implement as part of the map function. That being said, here, um, I am uh, writing the logic val rec of uh, yeah. Let me name it as t val t equal to. We have to create a tuple, and that tuple have two elements. The first element is of type tuple, and second element is of type integer, which will have value one. That is pretty straightforward. And now, the first element in this tuple has to be this month, this, uh, the month from this one. To get this one, we have written the logic earlier. Okay, the logic is this one. And that will give us the date. So if I say reg dot split uh, of two, um, it will give the date with timestamp and then dot split by space of zero will give us the date which we have seen earlier already. Okay, first let us get the date and uh, crime type and then we will improvise on the logic to get the month. Okay, and the second element in this has to be this one. And how can we get that? We can say rec dot split of comma and then five because it is sixth element that you can count. This is one. Oh my God. I don't know why it is selecting that much. Let me do it. I don't know why it is selecting everything. So the first one is, yeah, no. Nah. Five nine seven nine eight six two. Second one is the one which starts with HM. Third one is the date. Fourth one is this one. Anyway, that's fine. Fifth one is one three two zero, and sixth one is criminal damage, which is of type crime type. So we have to write uh, this logic. And if you actually look at this one, and uh, paste it you can see you got the date and then uh, the crime type and then one now i have to just convert this to 2704 so now let us write the logic for that what i will do is i will write a code block 
which will make our life a bit easier and more readable okay and i will assign that to the uh, variable t which is octave tuple and here i can say val r equal to rec dot split of comma and then i have to just replace this with r and then this one also with r okay and then let's say val d equal to r dot split space of zero so now d will be the date and i can pass it here but i want month so what i can do val m equal to uh, d dot okay so this one um, will be array and this one will be the date of this format okay and uh, this is the comment so this will be the date and from that we have to extract like this 2007 12 for that what i can do i can say d dot split by forward slash and the first element will have uh, it will again convert into array with the three elements first element will have the date second element uh, sorry month second element will have the date and third element will have the uh, year so uh, first i will want i want to extract year which is nothing but d dot split of 2 and then concatenate with d dot split of zero it will give us the year and month now i can use this m and by default it will be represented as a string you can save it as string but as 2007 12 is a valid number it's better to convert into number so that functional uh, performance wise it is better so this is how you can convert the overall string into the tuple the way we want to uh, uh convert and then do the further processing by implementing this logic as part of rdd processing so let me paste this here and make sure uh, t t gave us whatever we want okay here i have to say r of 2 r is of type array where the all of 2 is of type string which is nothing but date okay now we can run this logic now you can see here we got the data the way we want okay and we have to convert we converted one element from rdd which is of name rec like this now we have to convert each and every element of this rdd crime data without header so how can we do that what we have to do is val uh, crime or criminal records per uh, per month yeah with month and type so we are we are only capturing month and type right so that's why i named like this equal to crime data without header dot so what what we have to do on this rdd for each element in the rdd which is of type string i need to convert into a tuple which will capture the month crime type and a value one as we have to apply a transformation for each and every record to convert that record into a different format we have to use transformation called map it is as simple as that any time you have this requirement of converting one record to a, uh, another format we have to use map okay and then let me name it as t itself implies or uh, sorry let me name it as rec and then implies and then i can add this logic 
whatever you see here, you can add this logic. So we are creating a implicit uh, uh, variable R to capture the array, variable D to capture the date, variable M to capture the month. And finally, we are getting the tuple in this map function. Okay. And then we can copy and paste it here. And we can also preview the data by saying dot take off 10 dot for each print ln. Now you see we got for each and every record we got the month and the crime type and a value one. Now we just have to use reduce by key to add these ones to get the uh, uh, count for each month for, uh, for criminal type. Okay, so it is very straightforward. Here we can we uh, we need to use uh, uh, reduce by key rather than count by key uh, because um, I want to still continue as added is and apply sort by key logic also later. If I use count by key directly, what will ha happen is count by key actually convert the result into array and to sort the array, um, it is not as straightforward as sorting the RDD. Hence, I will use reduce by key to add all those ones. Okay, so now well uh, crime count per month per type that is my variable name and i can say equal to criminal records with uh, month and type dot reduce by key okay and then i have to give the total and value and then i can say total plus value i'm just adding all the ones to get the count now after getting the count i need to sort okay so reduce by key is very straightforward. If you are not sure here, you have to go back to our earlier modules and you have to come up with the logic. So here I can say val sorted equal to criminal count per month per type. And how the data needs to be sorted? It has to be sorted in ascending order by date and then in descending order by uh, the number of uh, uh, a number of uh, uh, the count of crime type. So the key now have to change from uh, from uh, month end crime type to month end count per date and uh, crime type. So the key has to be changed. So how can we do that? So if you consider it as a tuple, this is tuple dot underscore one and one is tuple dot underscore two and if you want to extract month it is tuple dot underscore one dot underscore one and to extract this it has to be tuple dot underscore one dot underscore two now by uh, picking this one we have to create the key as tuple which which will have month comma count okay which is nothing but the value in the tuple so the way we have to do is first we have to apply the map logic because uh, the record which is of uh, type this each record in the RDD which is of type this have to be converted to zero seven count we will get the actual count let me take this also as count and then we have to get the crime type which is weapons violation in this case on top of these things i also want to get the final output uh, as per the problem statement and the problem statement is okay they haven't mentioned uh, ideally uh, they, they said that data has to be tab delimited I will update this problem statement. Um, we want data to be comma separated. 
like this finally like 2007 zero seven comma count comma weapons violation okay so as part of uh, to get to final data like this as part of the map itself i can up, uh, instead of just capturing uh, the crime type i can actually get some uh, like this i want to create a string like this 2007 07 comma count comma crime type so that i can extract this one to save finally okay so for each input record like this after computing the count i want to convert like this so i can apply map function here rec implies okay this needs to be rec dot underscore one dot underscore one which is nothing but this one and then uh, which is nothing but this one and then i have to get the count so i can say and the count has to be negated because the data has to be in descending order by the count so minus rec dot underscore two which will give, give us the negated count so when the data is sorted it will be sorted in ascending order by uh, month and descending order by count and then uh, we have to get rec dot underscore one dot underscore one which is nothing but the month and then plus and then comma is the delimiter uh, sorry tab is the delimiter so let's let's use tab as delimiter and then rec dot underscore two plus and then again tab is the delimiter plus rec dot underscore one dot underscore two okay and once that is done you can say sort by key this will actually uh, sort the data after aggregation and give the results the way we want so that it can be saved so let me save this uh, copy this and then paste it here okay so the field name okay i think i haven't run this to get the count so let me run this first where the aggregations will be performed and then let me copy paste dot take of 10 dot for each print ln and hit enter you can see that uh, data is aggregated but it is not sorted as expected now using this logic it will it will also be sorted okay and uh, you can actually preview the data paste dot take of 10 dot for each print ln and you can see the data the value is tab separated now i can just preserve this to preserve only that again the input record which is of type tuple like this i just have to discard this and get this one so for that i can apply the map logic so dot map rec dot underscore two okay now let us paste it here and see the results okay and uh, as the data is sorted in ascending order by month and then descending order by crime type uh, we can now save uh, into the file system saving is very straightforward i just have to take this rdd and in this case i want to save as text file so there is the api called save as text file which will take the path as string and also the problem the problem statement says we have to uh, compress the data and it has to be gzip compression to get the compression algorithm 
instead of memorizing what you can do you can go to the gateway node where we are running these things and then go to this location etc hadoop conf and then vi core site.xml and search for codec okay and here the problem statement says we have to save it as gzip so whatever codecs that are available uh, that are mentioned as part of this file they will be supported for sure i'm sorry i didn't copy it properly let me copy copy okay so i can apply that um, as the compression algorithm and then i can give the path the path will be typically given in the problem statement and this is the path typically they give almost everything in this case as my environment is multi tenant environment i just gave the placeholder saying your your user id but as part of the exam they might give the exact location and here i am replacing this with my user id and then i can run this Okay, so it is saying uh, type and snatch. Let me see. I know the problem. Let me quickly troubleshoot the issue. Copy, paste, dot, save as text file. Okay, I have to say class of. so i should not say like this i have to say class of like this now it is saved you can actually validate uh, uh, by going to other browser by giving this path this is the preliminary validation we'll do few more validations as part of the next topic but let us make sure that files are copied in the location we want before we wrap up this topic you can see here you can see bunch of files which are saved and all of them are compressed with gzip algorithm so this is how you can uh, uh, save the files in case if you have to save as one file not as many uh, as files like this you can use an api called coals of one or if you want to save it as two you can say two etc so let me first remove these files rm hyphen r copy paste hit enter and then go to this session and then let me run this logic of coalescing into one file and then saving saving it into another file uh, uh, coalescing into one partition and then saving it into a compressed file test and hit enter finally let us uh, do this preliminary validation to see the number of files that are created and then we'll wrap up see here there is only one file so this is how you can come up uh, with the logic uh, but uh, understanding the data before coming up with the logic and also i uh, coming up with simple scala code before using that as part of uh, uh, spark api such as map is very very important to get the task completed uh, uh, in most of the cases you can directly get into the solution instead of uh, previewing the data the way i have done earlier but it is a good practice to preview in general um, but it all depends upon the problem statement um, and uh, the information they give at the time of certification and it's ever uh, convenience which you should go with but this is how 
a typical problem uh, statement will be solved using spark uh, with scala as programming language and we'll also validate the data real quick so that uh, the data is uh, saved the way we want. Uh, 